Hey guys, this is Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and today I'm just going to be showing you my organization in the garage. So normally all of this stuff used to be in that corner, which I'll show you later, but since we are moving, we my dad moved it all out onto the shelf because he cleared all this stuff off. Shadow! Come here, boy! Okay, so sorry about that. Um, so I'm just going to show you everything I have out in the garage. And it's pretty much all the stuff that just doesn't fit in my room. So yeah, I'll get started. I'm going to start at the top and then move all the way to the bottom. So up here I have my Cottontail Cottage, my um, Maze Haven, and then a homemade Heidi House box that didn't turn out. <laughs> and then up here I have a garbage can that I used to have in my room, but the rabbits always used to get in the garbage can so I just removed it um, and then here is a food bin with which is what I used to keep the rabbits pellets in and then a dustpan right here I have their blue Heidi hut which you guys have probably all seen as I use it a lot it's just out here because I'm not using it at the moment and then right here is my rabbit's pellets and then right here I have two frisbees and some stuff inside of them so this is just a little um, bowl I had from sorry about that you're gonna hear some cars in the background but this is a little crock bowl I got when I got mocha my friend gave him to me because she didn't have rabbits anymore um, it's really dirty right now. I think it has like dirt in it or something. I don't know. I've never used it. It's really small. Or maybe I used to use it when he was little. I don't remember. And then these are just golf balls that I found in the woods. Not sure why they're out here. And then these are NIC connectors, but I don't use them, so they're just kind of thrown out here. Over here is a litter box with some stuff inside, so I'll take that down so you can see it. In the litter box we have my mini NIC grids, they're not really mini, but they're smaller than normal NIC cubes. I'm just going to take those off. Then right here I have an old hay rack. And another old hay rack. So right here is their old pellet dishes that I have and a uh, extra broom and dust pan another mini crock dish that I got from my friend that I don't use and here is a bowl that clips onto the side of a cage this I use when um, I'm like I used to use it when I was up north and I would clip it to the dog kennel that they used to stay in um, and then right here is an old corner litter box and this was used for Lulu I believe when she was really really little um, well little to me she was like eight months old and then this whole litter box was for Sebastian um, he was a baby so he couldn't um, he probably could have jumped inside of here but I made a little opening for him so that he could hop in easily then right here I have two ceramic tiles that I used to use for Sebastian and I haven't cleaned them with vinegar and water yet to give them back to the bunnies so they're kinda just sitting out in the garage until I am not lazy and wash them and then on top of here I have my seeds which is like for growing vegetables and stuff for them and so now onto the middle shelf over here we have a bag of cat litter this is the cat litter that my cats use and it's just an extra bag we have so it's out here. This isn't the rabbit stuff um, because obviously I don't give my rabbits scoopable litter as that is very dangerous. Um, and then right here I have some wood wooden dowels for my NIC cage um, because I part of my NIC cage isn't in right now. Um, the little half shelf. And then right here in the bag I have their Tunnel Haven. That's just some chalk. And then this is their kennel. 
I always have this in the house because I'm I always like to be prepared in case there was an emergency or something but is it, it is out here right now because my cat has had some health problems recently and used this kennel so um, I think someone left it out here and I haven't put it back in my room yet right on the side of the kennel there's like these two cardboard things these are for the maze haven they're just extra walls you can put in then right here is just um, some random stuff again but this is just an old cat scoop scooper thing and then right here is our cat kennel um, this is one of these for our cats I've used it once for the rabbits when Lulu got spayed because I didn't have a kennel back then so um, it's pretty small though so both of my rabbits it's hard for them both to fit in there and now I'm going to show you the last shelf so right here I have some old litter boxes and stuff so I'm going to pull that out for you guys to see so first we have two litter box screens I don't use these at the moment because my litter boxes or the litter screens are too small for my litter boxes so as you can see they're really small I ordered the wrong size <laughs> so that was my fault and I really need to order some new stuff but I just haven't had the money yet then right here we have two water bottles my bunnies don't drink out of water bottles but um, I had them from when I was trying to get them to use them but um, I just use dishes now because it's more natural for the rabbits anyway um, so yeah I don't use these and then this basket is just done I think I used it as a hay bin once or something and then right here this might be kinda gross but these are their old litter boxes so I don't use these anymore I need to throw them away because after like um, about I don't know six months or so with two rabbits my litter boxes start to smell after six months so I have to replace them often so um, that's just one of the things you want to replace especially if you don't want your room to start smelling but um, also because rabbits are very sensitive to smell and um, you don't want them breathing in that kind of um, odor all the time as it can cause respiratory infections and stuff like that and then right here is an old food bowl it I used I bought this because I thought it would be nice and heavy for them not to tip over but it was just as easy to tip over so I ended up using it as a pellet dish so right here I have some really old hay in this pink bin if I can open it so it's like really yellow and stuff this is Timothy hay that we used to have for our horse and that's what the bunnies used to eat before they were on orchard grass um, and I actually forgot this was in here I really need to throw it out so I'll probably do that soon since we're going to be packing um, in the next few days and then right here I have a bin it's like a file bin like to keep files in but I brought hay up once um, to our other house with this bin and then in here is a I used to use this as a litter box but as you can see it's really small and the bunnies don't really fit in it anymore and I dropped it and it chipped and I don't want them to cut themselves on it and next is just the stuff on the floor um, I'm not sure if all of it is for the bunnies or not so um, I'm gonna check and make sure before I start filming so right there is actually a recyclable bin so I'm not gonna show you that but right here is the litter it's really heavy because there's about um, about 80 pounds of litter in here. Um, I bought two bags of 40 pound litter, um, 40 pound bags of litter, but I've used some since then, but it's still pretty heavy. So right here is the huge bin of litter, and it used to be up to like right here when it had like 80 pounds in it, so I've used quite a bit, but I use horse stall bedding. It is very safe for rabbits and it's just pelleted um, wood litter and um, it absorbs really well and um, yeah and it's also really cheap for a 40 pound bag it's only like seven dollars or sometimes six dollars it really depends like where you get it 
So yeah, I love this litter and it doesn't smell like yesterday's news. I used to, I tried it once and I didn't like the smell of it so, so I switched to um, wood litter. And then right there is another empty bin so I won't show you that either. But right here in this little crack is a under the bed bin and I kept my hay in it when my bed was on the ground um, so that it wouldn't take up space on the floor. And then right here is where I used to keep all of my rabbit stuff. It was literally just piled in a big pile back there. But um, my dad moved it out here, so it's no longer in there. But back here, I don't have very much stuff anymore. Like, this is not mine. This is my dad's. But this is an old rug for the bunnies. I used it with Sebastian, so I haven't used it with the bunnies again. But I might try putting some baking soda on it and vacuuming it up as it's supposed to help remove smell and it's been almost a year since he's been here so I don't think the rabbits will smell much of him on there but I'm, I'm just afraid of them peeing on it and then right back there is an old step for the bunny's condo it's this thing right there and the last thing I have is this big blue bin that I just set in front of this big shelf and inside I keep a whole bunch of hay so that every time I get hay for the bin in my room. I don't have to go all the way to the shed to get it, so I just open this up and there's a whole bunch of hay. I'm kind of running out in here. I'll have to go refill it with the hay bales um, soon, but I just put, I think it can fit about maybe half a bale. Um, I don't think this bin can fit a whole bale of hay, but it can fit quite a bit. And then this is just a flake of hay and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, and just to make something clear, I am not like crazy rich and my parents get me anything I want. Um, most of this stuff is either old bins and stuff that my parents didn't want anymore or I bought it with my own money. So um, I'm not like some spoiled little kid who has a lot of rabbit stuff. I mean, I do have a lot of rabbit stuff, but I'm not spoiled. And, um, yeah, sorry for, like, the decorations on, like, the freezer and stuff, but my sister's graduation was, um, graduation party was, um, on Monday, so we have, like, graduation hats and, like, a table and a table, so, um, yeah, sorry about that. But I wanted to make this video now because we are moving on the June 9th. So we have to start packing, like, now because we only have, like, a week. Um, to pack everything up and take it up to our other house. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.